Today we have a pretty basic thing to cover inside of Maya. Uh, today we are going to be taking a look at how we can utilize um, more than just a basic primitive which is inside of Maya. As far as we have seen till now that we have made a use of this basic primitive where we take a sphere or a cube or a plane and we pretty much create something out of it. But there's more to than uh, that we see to polygon primitives. If you go to the create menu and polygon primitives, you'll see a bunch of primitives right over here. And also some over here, which is called as super shapes. And this is kind of like a procedural uh, primitives, which is I think pretty nice. And uh, you have three uh, primitives, super ellipse, spherical harmonics, and ultra shape. So I'm going to take an ultra shape here. So uh, this just looks like a normal sphere, right? And if I also take a normal sphere and if I just move this along and if I just change the divisions to something like 50 and 50, uh, as you can see, these two look alike. But if you go to the attributes, as you can see in the polysphere, we only have radius and we have subdivisions and that's it. But if we go to a super shape and we go to the super shape uh, poly uh, attributes, We'll see a bunch of options like first of all uh, shapes, helix and super ellipse and so on ultra spherical harmonics and horizontal vertical. So this is like um, made so that you can pretty much make this a procedural kind of primitive where you can play around with different kinds of uh, parameters to get a different kinds of result which I think is pretty nice and also a little bit pretty cool things that inside of uh, these super shapes we are which we are going to see as we go along so the first thing we have is the shape which is pretty much your base shape what you want to take as a super shape so you have super ellipse a spherical harmonics and ultra so i'm going to go with ultra and here you have a basic radius so what a radius you want your primitive to be and then you have divisions i think 16 is fairly enough and if we think it is like pretty low we can always change this we have create uvs which we are not going to be using then we have helix and in helix uh, as you can see every option is grayed out if we just uncheck the merge vertices we get these options and here we can pretty much play around as you can see if i decrease the value we are kind of um, creating this whole sphere from nothing just a simple curve we can animate this too so i'm going to keep it to one uh, let's keep it somewhere around 0.5 so kind of like a hemisphere and uh, let's change the vertical revolution to something like this so as you can see uh, it creates a pretty nice shape and it's a variation also let's play around with that and it kinds of uh, you can say twist this entire primitive which we do not want and uh, then we have eternal uh, eternal radius and x offset y offset z offset sorry which is kind of like you can pretty much animate this to create an angry bird movie you can like like this pulley kind of thing uh so i'm going to make it merge vertices again i'm not going to change that and let's go to super ellipse uh, we are not using any super ellipse uh, but we do want to use uh, horizontal and vertical uh, parameters and here we have bunch of options and this is like the creative process where everything begins for you this is you have to like there is no right or wrong method in this you just have to experiment and you have to just do a trial and error kind of thing uh, you just have to experiment with this to get different kinds of results that's all i can say i mean there is no right and wrong i mean you can come up like endless possibility there is like endless possibilities with this so uh, as you can see as i'm moving uh, this uh, exponent uh, one and two i'm kind of like squeezing this all out so i'm going to make this around 10 and uh, i think i have a pretty cool shape to play around with i'm going to add a little bit of mixer into it to make this i'm going to make this 0.1 and uh, mm, let's keep it to 10 and uh, i think this is looking good i'm going to make it 0.2 and uh, 1.5 so let's go to the vertical now and uh, here things will start to get even kind of fun uh, as I said so now we have something like we can make this an abstract lamp kind of thing I'll make a tutorial out of it maybe I don't know um, 
so i think this is looking pretty nice and i can go to exponent one and pretty much change the overall look i think one was pretty good um, but it totally depends on you what is your style okay 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 point one i'm going to keep it to something like this okay and uh, if i press three on this as you can see we get pretty smooth model so let's keep it like this and let's move this aside and let's go to create polygon primitive and let's take another ultra sheet and um, we are going to uh, play around with this and i think i'm going to make this six uh, to start off with and uh, i'm just going to make this a kind of um, i think i'll keep it one i'm going to exponent two yes and i'm going to close this now and let's go to vertical and let's change this to something like this okay and uh, let's try to play around with this okay so this is what we have come up with and i'm going to make this aside as well let's take another um, polygon primitive auto shape bring this up and uh, first of all let's go to the helix and uh, i don't think i want to do this let's merge what is this uh, i'm just going to keep it to something like this let's make it minus five and uh, perfect pentagon and let's make this okay let's keep this one uh, okay perfect let's go to the vertical let's see how many divisions we want to add up to this not too many one two i think two is good enough and uh, something like this okay okay Okay, so I'm going to keep it like this. So we have three shapes. Let's scale this up. Okay. So I'm going to create a plane um, right here, and um, just like this. Let's turn off the grid, and I'm going to press four to go into the lines mode wireframe mode and let's just rotate this something like this and bring this down okay so i think this is looking good enough i'm just going to do some kind of variation to just change the overall look of it and i'm going to take another camera and uh, let's go to the attributes and first of all let's go to the camera i'm going to change the value on z and let's make this 0 0.2 0 0.5 or 1 yes something like this let's turn on the film gate and i'm going to zoom in just a little bit and uh, i think i want to move this to the x and i think this is good enough so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is change this plane into a backdrop. So let's select this edge, Control E, extrude this on top, Control E. Uh, you don't have to do the top thing, it's just me like to do it. And I think uh, now we are good to go. Let's go back to our camera one. Let's log the camera. Let's go to an un IPR and let's see. So we don't have anything and that's because we don't have any light in our scene. So let's go to Anil and take a Skydome light which is a complete white light and um, have you seen selected yeah so now we should see something i'm going to update the full scene yeah go to camera one and we have pretty dull light so actually i'm going to increase the exposure on this and let's create the samples to five i think the scene is looking quite nice uh, let's go to the camera one and uh, for the plane i'm going to assign a new material let's go to arnold let's create a floor material and i'm going to make this something like this the color will be around like this and i'm going to make the weight one and roughness 0.5 let's see now uh, i think it's reflecting back pretty um, bright so i'm going to uh, go out of my 
camera select this kind of light and make the exposure to zero again for now let's see how the lighting turns out then we'll see so let's see now so it's kind of dull now and we'll keep it like that for now until we are done shading uh, so let's select uh, and we are going to create a material for each and every uh, primitive so let's close this now because we are going to go into the hyper shade to create these materials so let's go to Arnold and uh, we need sand surface let's come over here and let's take a noise and we are going to create a similar material as we have uh, learned in the earlier video how to create a material by using AI noise which is so if you haven't checked it out just uh, go into the channel and I'm going to put a link down below so you can check it out so I'm going to make uh, the color to the base color let's make the octave uh, let's make this one and I'm going to make the distortion to two or maybe like four and amplitude to 5 maybe 10 yeah let's make this 3 uh, let's change the color to something like this and um, I think this is looking nice uh, now the color obviously depends on you what kind of color you want so I'm going to make this um, P1 that is going to be the primitive one and uh, I think we have applied the primitive one to the primitive no so let's apply existing material p1 let's take a new material for this stand so let's call this p2 and uh, let's call this one p3 primitive 3 uh, so let's go to hypershade uh, select your p2 and right click and graph network okay uh, we are going to take another AI noise let's attach the base color let's go to the octaves let's make the distortion to around 3 and this to 1 and amplitude to 10 okay here we are going to go into the color and we will pretty much take the same color and then uh, just add a little bit variation to it something like this and then changing this one to something like this okay I'm uh, going to main share let's make the specular to 1 and this one to 0.5 I think this is looking nice pretty flat I do although yeah. that's kind of look we are going for actually uh, this is uh, looking reflected I don't know why yeah. so let's go to p3 now select this let's make it 1 0.1 and 0.5 so pretty kind of Lambert uh, shader so this is the last one and uh, I'm going to make this to something like this and uh, this one to this so we have uh, another I'm going to make this 4 and uh, I'm going to make the P2 V2 so just so we have a different kinds of variation let's close this now and let's see our IPR so I think this looks pretty nice and now we can go to our skydome light and now we can increase our intensity as we like so let me just bring this around here let's turn this on and I'm gonna make the exposure to 0.1 maybe 0.2 yeah I think 0.2 is perfect for the scene and now this scene is pretty much good to go for the render uh, I don't think uh, we need to discuss about the render setting but if you do want to look at the render setting all you have to do is go to Arnold uh, make the camera around 8 if used to 4 and 4 should be sufficient uh, this is like the minimum settings you are, if your system is pretty good you can pretty much crank this up uh, make the transmission to 0 and let's make the total to 0 GI on D for uh, diffuse and specular so pretty good to go go to common image format JPEG let's call this um, ultra shapes and uh, let's make it a 1080p and camera 1 as a renderable camera and uh, now we trend so i hope you like the video as i said this is like a pretty basic one and pretty simple to do but it does give kind of a nice effect to it and have fun playing around with it and if you do create something out of it definitely show me send me on instagram i love to see your work and uh, if you have any suggestion let me know okay thank you and have a good day